Hi guys, Lynn Abrams from Straight Razor Designs and Straight Razor Place. Um, today we're going to talk a little bit about refreshing razors. So normally when a razor is honed, uh, the life expectancy of that edge for most people who shave every day with a normal beard is probably two to three months and your mileage may vary uh, again uh, for you new guys we see a lot of new guys dull razors out very quickly either by stropping uh, or by technique in, in a much sooner time period so uh, that two to three months is purely an average we've had some people go you know six months we've heard of people going a year on a sharpened razor but uh, uh, that's really at the extreme far end so uh, what do you do then when your razor starts to pull and you don't want to go and have the razor completely rehoned? Um, one of the things that I normally will recommend to people before they start honing is learning how to refresh a razor. So what we'll talk about today is some of the refreshing methods that are out there for you. So the first thing I'm going to do is talk a little bit about uh, what I do when I look to refresh a razor. And so as I said, when your razor starts to pull, probably within two to three months of having been honed, the first thing that you can do is refresh that razor with just a few strokes of either chromium oxide or diamond spray or CBN, some media like that. Um, the paste typically are better, in my opinion, on the back of leather or on a separate uh, standalone uh, strop if you have one and uh, the sprays in my opinion again work very well with the felt surfaces so for you guys who want to start off um, with uh, the the paste or the or the sprays I normally will recommend uh, a chromium oxide crayon in my opinion this is probably the easiest and most consistent type of, of thing to apply to your to your straps so uh, they normally come in a little bit smaller piece than this. I, I haven't made this big because I use them all the time. And so uh, we're going to go ahead and demonstrate exactly how I would put this on. And uh, I'm going to use for demonstration purposes um, a straight razor designs three inch strop. Now on the back of this one though I have the cotton or the premium fabric and I'm using the cotton because it's lighter. On the poly webbing, the poly webbings usually are uh, green or black or brown or black rather and uh, they're a little bit harder to see but uh, what, what I want you to get the, is that it doesn't take much of the chromium oxide or much of the media on your strop uh, in order for it to be effective. Okay, So uh, a lot of people use the back side of their strop uh, to strop before they go to the leather side just in their daily routines. So normally what I'll recommend is to take the back or the inside part of that back strop and that's the surface that we're going to treat. And it's actually really quite simple. You just lay it out on a flat surface and take your crayon and just start to rub it along. And basically what I want to do is not cake this on. I don't want it so thick that I can see it starting to cake and little pieces peel off and things like that. Pretty much I'm just looking for a nice thin co cover similar to this and you can see how it's coming on there very good. You can see the, the green color on there uh, is pretty consistent across this drop. And that pretty much is really all you need and that's probably good for a dozen refreshes. Okay and um, that pretty much would take care of that and we'll, we'll go in a second and I'll show you how exactly I would, I would do the refresh with the chromium oxide on the inside of the straw. Um, other methods of just a very simple refresh would be, uh, as I said, felt is a great media. So I already have this particular straw treated with chromium oxide and as you can tell it's had quite a bit of use. Uh, by the darkening that's on there. And typically I'll take um, on the chromium oxide and pretty much the same on the diamond spray. I'll take the sprayer and I'll just come up and down, up and down at about six to eight inches away. I'll let it dry overnight and then it's ready for use. So this one has the diamond spray on it and this one has the green chromium oxide spray on it. And because I use these so much, obviously I have uh, all the different straps. But uh, for you at home, you know, just finding one of these that works the best for you 
uh, is, is the way to go. And the easiest and most inexpensive way is just to treat the inside or the backside of your canvas or polywebbing strop to, to get started off with this. All right, so. Once your razor starts to pull, and I'm gonna use just a Dovo Best Quality 6 eighths today, okay? Um, what you do is just, after you've treated your strop, set your strop up on your hook, the same as you would with any other strop that you're gonna be using, okay? And so, uh, I'll, I'll actually do this the same as I would any other strop. So, if I'm stropping the leather side, obviously I'm on the front. If I'm doing my canvas side before the leather, I'm here. But for purposes of this, we're just gonna throw the leather up over the table and hope it stays. And that exposes the treated side of the strop. Now normally I recommend for people only doing this between four to seven times. Uh, I used to use between 10 and 15, but I've really found that that number of strokes, four to seven, is really a sweet spot. And so it's a regular stropping motion, and one stroke is back and forth. So you really don't want to bear down or put a lot of pressure. The chromium oxide will work on its own. And so you just come back and forth four to seven times. And that's about it. And so once I've, once I've done the four to seven strokes on the strop, what I'll do is I'll go ahead and just set that down for a moment. And I'll wipe the strop off to make sure that I get any of the chromium oxide that is on there off. And then what I'll do is go ahead and do my normal stropping routine. And so with the normal stropping routine, I normally will just do leather, but a lot of people will do 10 to 20 strokes on the canvas. Now, this piece of canvas is fairly new, so it's, you're gonna hear the sound from it. It's not all that broken in. Okay, and once again, I'm gonna go ahead and wipe the razor off. And then I'm gonna come back and I would do my 50 to 60 strokes on my leather strap. And for purposes of the video, I'll stop it right there. But basically, you want to do the same stropping as you would every day before your shave. Okay? Now, in most situations, just by doing that little bit of refreshing on the chromium oxide, this razor will be woke up enough to shave and go back to giving you a nice shave without the pulling. All right? And the only way to test that, it typically, is just to go ahead and shave with it. Um, a lot of people will see at this point if it will cut arm hairs. This one's actually picking up arm hairs midway. So we know that this razor is pretty sharp. But again, the best way to test them is to go ahead and shave with them. Okay? So that method, using either the chromium oxide on the back part of your, your second uh, strop or either using a second uh, uh, hanging strop of felt with either uh, diamond sprayer paste or, you know, if you wanted to use a chromium oxide paste on the back side of your leather strop, uh, all of those things will work from a refreshing standpoint. Uh, actually, one of the things that I like to do quite a bit is to use the modular paddle strop because I can add a piece that I've already treated with the 0.5, give it my four to seven strokes, then go ahead and remove this piece, go back to the scrub leather, and do the scrub leather stropping, and then do the, the regular leather stropping, and that, that is my refresh, all right? And so uh, this will work for quite a long time, and for most people, this will keep your ra razor uh, maintained uh, and shaving well for months and months and months. And so uh, some people will repeat um, the refresh using the paste or sprays uh, maybe every two weeks or maybe every month, and that works really well for them. 
And uh, at some point, though, it'll quit working. But uh, f until it does, that really is the easiest and probably the most economical way uh, to go ahead and refresh a razor. Okay? So when that quits working, then what I normally will have people do is uh, go to a finishing hone. And so uh, one easy finishing hone to use, and one of the hones that I actually like to use the best when I go this route, is the Naniwa Superstone 12K Stone. And so, uh, like with the, the, all the Naniwa Stones, I just spray them down enough to where the water will start to pool up. And then we start from a refreshing standpoint. Now, on the refreshing, when it comes to the, the 12K or the finishing stone, typically I'm going to do the same four to seven strokes that I did on the pacer spray on my finishing stone for refreshes only. And so uh, what I would do when that, that pacer spray quits working is come to my stone and I'm just going to do uh, four to seven, very light, pressure, weight of the blade only, little abbreviated X strokes. And from here, I'm going to go straight to the uh, pasted uh, spray or pasted uh, uh, sprayed strop or the, the pasted strop. And here, because I'm sitting down, I've got it all right in front of me, uh, I'm going to go ahead and change out the scrub leather and just put the .5 diamond on. So I've done my four to seven strokes uh, on the 12K stone. Okay, and this is a little more aggressive than just what's on the chromium oxide or the 0.5 diamond. Uh, the stone is a 12K stone, 12,000 grit, and the paste and spray is a 0.5 micron or basically 30,000 grit. So obviously the 12,000 or the finishing stone is going to be a little bit more aggressive for when the, the uh, paste or sprays quit working. So uh, we've done the six or seven on, on the stone, and now we're going to do six or seven more. on the diamond. All right, I'm going to wipe it off. And now I'm ready to just strop that razor once again for a regular stropping and we'll go and test shave it. Now I can tell just from a thumb pad test uh, with what I've done there, I've actually notched this up a little bit from where it was when we started off. Uh, I could also look to cut hanging hairs, which it, it's obviously doing. Um, and so we're ready to test shave it as soon as we go ahead and strop this one back up. And so for purposes of the video, once again, I've got this out, so I'll use the paddle strop to strop this time. And once again, I would do my normal 40 to 60 strokes, 50 to 60 strokes, whatever uh, you guys use on a typical basis daily. And then I would go ahead and test shave with this. Okay, and each stroke is a full stroke. And then we're ready to shave with this. Now, the method that I just showed you uh, by dropping down to the 12K stone, then going back to the paste or spray, um, works really well. If you want to use the scrub leather back on the paddle in between, or you want to use uh, the untreated side of your polywebbing or cotton canvas, um, that's fine. There's a lot of, lot of personal discretion here, which is something I probably should say in that all of the methods that I'll be showing you, um, you'll if you try all these methods, um, you'll find something that's going to work the best for you. So whether I say do four to seven strokes and you decide to do 10 strokes and that works best for you, if you do 15 strokes and it works best for you, then that's what I would stay with. But it gives you the opportunity to play around with it. And if you have different stones, you might want to try using uh, several different stones and just see how that works for you. Um, 
Personal preference is really key here. Everybody has a different touch. Everybody has that different pre preference. And you'll develop more of that the more that you actually do the honing. Uh, but this method that I just showed you, um, a lot of times people can maintain their razors without having to send them back to be honed almost indefinitely just by going to the 12,000 grit stone and then going to the finishing paste. Some people, uh, actually when they drop back to the 12K stone, they won't even go to the finishing stone. Uh, paste at all, okay? Uh, and some people actually don't have a 12k stone, and what they'll do basically is if they have an 8k stone, as I do here, I have uh, the Naniwa Super Stone and the 8k. Uh, basically, uh, you can do that same four to seven strokes on your 8k, and then go to the to the uh, finishing paste or spray and see if that works for you. So there's a lot of alternatives that you can try and you'll make up your own mind as to which shaves the best from you. Um, the one thing that you know is you can always drop down and rehone, but if you learn by using these methods, typically you could stay at these levels without having to have a whole set of hones, okay? <clears throat> now, another method of refreshing uh, once the paste or spray quits working is to try uh, a simple pyramid, okay? And so for purposes of the pyramid today, uh, I've got the 5,000 grit Naniwa and an 8,000 grit Naniwa, all right? And so when we talk pyramids, typically when I do pyramids, I'm, I'm doing a pyramid on a 4K, an 8K, or a 5K, an 8K stone. And there's a bunch of them out here. Uh, I also have a set of uh, shaft and glass stones in the 4K and 8K. We could use those as well. And you could also use a Norton 4K, 8K if you wanted to. And so uh, for refreshing beyond the pacer sprays on the pyramid method, uh, what I normally would do is I would do what I call a 1-3 or a 1-5, or and a 1-3 and 1-5. And what that is is one stroke on the 5,000 and then three strokes on the 8,000. All right, and then I'll come back and I'll do my one five, which is 1,000 on the one stroke on the 5,000 side followed by five strokes on the 8,000 side. Now, for those of you who have a 4,000, 8,000 setup or a 5,000, 8,000 setup, uh, what I would say to you is that once you've done a 1-3 and a 1-5 in a pyramid is to go ahead and strop your razor up and test shave with it, okay? Uh, before uh, you would go to a 12 or anything else and just see what that did to it. And in a lot of cases, again, for guys who may not have a 12K stone or a finishing stone, uh, this may work for you. Now, the first two years when I was learning how to hone, all I had was a Norton 4000-8000 stone. And so I know that you can get comfortable shaves off the 8000. It, it really is a matter of just practice with this. And the one thing that I can tell you is that pressure will kill your edge. And so I'm using the weight of the blade pressure only as I do that pyramid. The other thing that I can tell you is the pyramid in and of itself um, is just simply an incremental way of honing. We get asked all the time, why, you know, do I go back and forth, go back and forth? You know, I can't tell you anything other than the, what was taught to me, and that's that basically this incremental method of going back and forth will refine that edge to a point where it shaves well. And if there's ever any doubt about it, the one thing that uh, you can never uh, question is the fact that the pyramid works. And it works um, whether you're going... Uh, and doing an entire honing regimen on it, or if you're using just the tail end of it for the refresh process. And so, um, you know, once again, um, you know, this is this is an, another alternative uh, that you can add to your to your uh, uh, regimen of honing skills, and just just give it a try and see how it works. Um, another way to maintain razors 
uh, that, that a lot of people will try, uh, and you see these out here, are little barber hones. Okay, and if you look at the instructions that come with barber homes, in most cases they're going to tell you just use five to six strokes, and that's really about it. These were made a um, long time ago. Uh, they're really not manufactured today anymore. They're ceramic stone, and uh, they're meant to be used with either water. I, some people use them with oil, but more people will use them with water or lather, and it's really a pretty basic uh, Pretty basic little stone. You take your little water and then just rub that across there. And four or five strokes is all you need on this. And that would be it. And then you would strop that up and see how that works for you. Um, there are people that swear that they've maintained their razors for 20 and 30 years using nothing but a barber hone, uh, you know, that, that's in between normal honings for people and have had very, very good results. And so I know there's still some of these available from, from some vendors. They're usually all vintage or sometimes you can find them on eBay and not too terribly expensive. Uh, and that's a great alternative. Okay. And uh, so keep that one in mind. Um, Again, one other alternative are natural stones. Uh, for purposes of this, I have a, a codicle put out here, and we'll just wet it up. Um, I also have Escher stones and Japanese stones and different kinds of uh, rubbing stones. Uh, uh, here's an, an Ozuku stone that's a Japanese stone uh, that still has just a touch of slurry left on it. So there's a lot of natural stones out there that you can try from a standpoint of maintenance or, or re, you know, refinishing um, or refreshing a razor and get them going. And so with just a little bit of water on your natural stone, uh, there's a couple different ways you can approach this. Um, I like to use water only. Um, although on some stones I find that they work better by going from a light slurry to a water. And typically, if I'm using a natural stone, um, I'm going to do, especially on the stones I know, like the Kotical, like the Escher, like most of my Japanese stones, um, in that point I'm going to go uh, uh, m probably more times than not with a 7 to 10 strokes, and then I'll strop it up and I'll test shave it and see how it goes. But just basically weight of the blade only. And I'm ready to strop this thing up and test it. And uh, what's interesting about this is that I'm using the same razor as I go through each of these progressions. And uh, by the feel of the razor, I haven't over honed it yet. And so um, it's just probably a little bit different refinements uh, based on each of the individual stones that I'm using. Uh, but there would really be only one way to find that out, and that's just to go ahead and test it and use it. So uh, those refreshing techniques um, hopefully are enough to get you started okay and again the the most basic of them all which was using the strop with uh, the treated chromium oxide on the back um, that's the easiest and probably the most inexpensive for everybody and I would say give that one a try and uh, see how that goes and uh, you know then if you want to go on to the finishing stones that's fine uh, if you have all the homes that I've, I've had here, I would say give all these techniques a try. Uh, and if not, um, and all you want to do is, is maintain your razors, um, you can probably get by with just a finishing stone like the Naniwa 12K and your chromium oxide or diamond uh, paste or spray, and you're good to go. So uh, that's pretty much it for a quick short lesson on some refreshing. If you have any questions, let me know. Uh, as always, have fun out there, and we'll see you on the forums. Bye-bye.